The second method for finding the maximum or minimum values in a quadratic function is to factor. Factoring will lead us to the zeros. The zeros we can use to find the equation of the axis of symmetry, which will lead us to the vertex. When we're factoring this function, our first step is to look at that common factor of negative 5. By removing that common factor, I'm left with negative 5, and in brackets, x squared minus 8x minus 20. As there's no a value, I can factor using my product and my sum, which are in this case are negative 20 and negative 8 respectively. This gives me values of negative 10 and positive 2, which will factor into my binomials. Now that I have my binomials, we can set each binomial equal to 0 and then solve to determine what my zeros are. This gives me zeros of x equals 10 and x equals negative 2. Now that I have both of my zeros, we can add them together and then divide by 2 in order to find the equation of the axis of symmetry. 10 plus negative 2 divided by 2. So 10 plus negative 2 is equal to 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. This 4 value is my x coordinate of my vertex, so I'm going to set that into my function in order to find the y coordinate. So again, our function was f of x equals negative 5 times x minus 10 times x plus 2. So I'm going to find f of 4 and evaluate for the value of 4. We sub 4 in for each location of x inside of our function, and then we simplify following our order of operations. I'm going to simplify inside each pair of brackets. I'm left with negative 5 times negative 6 times 6, which gives me a value of 180. This is the y coordinate of the vertex. So we have our maximum minimum point. We just decide, is it a maximum or a minimum? Given our a value is negative, this will be a maximum point as a parabola looking down, and that will occur at the point 4, 180.